The HQ Avante includes a low bobbin capability so you can estimate how soon your bobbin thread will run out. This low bobbin capacity is based on an estimate of how much of a particular thread can fit on a bobbin. In combination with other quilting factors such as tension, stitches per inch, and how much bobbin thread you pull out when beginning and ending your quilting. So to estimate how much thread is on a bobbin, place a full bobbin in the machine and under the heading bobbin thread capacity, press the record button. Then quilt as usual. You can see on the front screen, it says record. And as I'm quilting, it is recording how much thread I am using. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the machine and we'll go back and we didn't stitch much, but you can see that it said that I used a unit of 0.7. And so if I stitched out a whole bobbin, and it would be maybe 130, then I would probably back off that maybe 10 numbers. So that would accommodate for maybe a change in tension, or uh, pulling up your bobbin thread, or pulling up your top thread you know, and cl clipping those off. So that would accommodate for that. Cut that back so it would be 120. And then you could record that. So then we go ahead and we press a record button. And there's three different buttons that you can record your new thread capacity. So I'll go ahead and record that. Now that's not a very big number, but if I'd had, you know, a larger number in there, then I could put in a new bobbin. And then once I put in that new bobbin, I use this one here and new bobbin. And then I go ahead and stitch and stitch out that whole bobbin. And it will alarm me with a, an alarm that I need to press right here when I'm getting low or when that capacity runs out. So then I can uh, put in a new bobbin and each time I put in a new bobbin I need to come back here and press new bobbin so that the machine knows that I've added a new bobbin to the, the hook. As you can see there are three different threads that I can record and you can overwrite those if you have another thread you can put that in and record again and then put that in again. But now you know that if I'm using a 40 weight thread, it might be this button. If I'm using a 60 weight, it might be this button. If I'm using a silk that's 100, it might be a higher number, which it, it would be a higher number. So the finer the thread, the higher the number would be.